Hey, hi, Vibe Tribe. It's Quantum Field Coach. Hey, I want to ask you something. What do you? What are your thoughts about people coming to me and wanting to know how I got rid of depression, um, wanting to know if um, a diet works to heal arthritis, and you say, yes, I reverse mine. And all these things that are starting to happen again since I've posted an update on my um, healing journey like I do regularly. This happens every time. This is what happens is that I'm like, say, we'll just give the example of how do you, how did you get rid of depression since it's Mental Health Awareness Month? And I literally said, that's a very complex question and a complex answer. I would be happy to meet with you. I have spent almost two hours back and forth on Messenger after I had already told her that I give free 45 minute consultations, but to be able to actually be of value to her, I needed to more know more about her. And when I finally set the boundary of like, this is my calendar for the, you know, it was the third time I posted it. And I said, um, I have given you my credentials and I've let you know that in order to really be of value to you, I need to know more about you and I have forms to fill out and I'm happy to meet with you for free for 45 minutes. And I let her know that I do quantum healing, I do energy medicine, I do nutritional psychiatry, movement, herbalism, I'm a trauma care trained peer support specialist and ordained healing minister. I have 40 years experience. I specialize in gut health and brain health and all this stuff. And almost two hours later, messaging back and forth, she said, thanks, I'll think about it, bye. Now, I never did even get any information about her, about where she's at, about how she might proceed for her healing journey, because everybody's healing journey is an individual journey. The journey is within. Like, it's not about what worked for me or for anyone else. It's like um, one of the common questions I get when people first found out that I healed from 15 diseases is um, my favorite was, I still got to say this, what page on breaking the habit of being yourself did you find your cure? You need to understand this man had been to four retreats of Dr. Joe's. Okay, wrap your head around that. So I'm just going to say this. You just got to want it. Anybody that knows Dr. Joe's work knows he says that all the time and it is so true now there is a eight stage of change that i learned in school i have been going above and beyond that so many times especially when i post an update that i've healed more things or i've lost more weight or whatever and that's the other crazy thing check this out I posted, I have a little poster now because it's easier if I just do a quick little meme um, about my updates now because so many things happen. It's easier just to post a short one and if people really want to know the depth, then I'll give them more. But anyhow, um, so I post my poster how um, it, it says all these amazing things, including like healing 15 diseases, being off 13 meds. Yes, I've lost 80 pounds. Yes, I've lost 25% BMI. But I healed 15 diseases. I'm off of 13 meds. I'm no longer eating three pounds of candy. I'm no longer addicted to murder mysteries and serial killer movies. And I'm training to hike Mount Rainier. And I'm not laying on the couch. And I don't need to go to the bus, take a bus to go two blocks to the store to get my candy. I posted that poster with those details. To ask for medium-sized clothes because I'm a student and I'm still working on a part of me that is not physical. It's financial and that's still in the works and that's okay. And so I, I posted on all the local free groups about getting medium clothes. If anybody had any medium clothes and I posted the poster and I said because I've lost 80 pounds since last year. Well, the poster says everything that's happened in the last 14 months. And not one single person said anything about anything except, congratulations, how did you lose the weight? 
And so, you just got to want it. And it's not about the outsides. It's so not about the outsides. The outsides reflect the work we do on the insides. Feel that. Because it's so true. Like... I've met so many people that have been to so many numerous retreats and they come to me to ask me what I did, how I did it. One lady asked me what herb I got my cure from and she had read all of my journals. Not once in there do I even mention what herbs I used. Like I didn't even go into that in my journals for Dr. Joe because I was using them for their research and story of transformation and stuff. And I, I didn't want to go into that. It wasn't about the other parts of my journeys. And so you see then is that the need to have the instant fix, the need to have the instant gratification. Do you know how many times I have posted on Dr. Joe Dispenza groups looking for an accountability partner, looking for someone to interact with? I've even posted in chats of people, what stops your happiness? I asked for accountability partners. Three people said they wanted to be. All three didn't follow through. And so I guess what I'm saying is you just got to want it. And if you want it and you know that something works for someone else and they give you tips on how it may work for you, then maybe instead of just wanting the end result, you know, all the great teachers that I listen to say it, and it's true. Because what I really did to get my healing is I did what my teachers did. Like, I didn't do it their way with their things, but I did the the principles and the values and the characteristics I love about them, and I and I mimicked them. Like in that way, my totem animal crow, I'm a great mimicker and I don't mean I'm a pretender or a faker. What I'm meaning is that I learn something from someone and I repeat it my own way. And I'm not saying my own way, like my way or no other way. What I'm saying is that I am a unique individualized expression of the divine within me and all around me. So what works for someone else doesn't work for me in that exact same way. So when somebody comes to me and says, how did you get rid of depression? And I asked five times if she was safe and never once did I get an answer. She wanted to know this and that and this and that about me. It's not about me. When, when someone else has depression, it's not about me and what I know about. Like, you know, a, a coach um, empowers you to find your inner alchemist. A coach is there to hold safe space for you to, or anyone, a friend. I'm, I'm just saying, like for me, my perspective, I have 40 years of coaching, so it's kind of like my go-to to say. But um, so I guess then, you know, my quantum energy flip workshop Literally, when I trace back, because I do metacognition, you best believe I do metacognition. And I do review and I do mind mapping. I do all that stuff because I mimic Dr. Joe and Bruce Lipton and all the greats. Dr. Teresa Buller, Dr. Sue Mortar, I'll go on and on and on. Dr. Michael Greger in a nutrition sense, which is very similar, like you know the science and you're more apt to do it type of thing, just like Dr. Joe says. It's the same thing with my nutrition. I don't do nutrition unless I know the science, like because I need to know, you know, I've learned that. It's very, it's a very effective. Anyhow, um, you know, my healing literally came from the flip, yes. No lie. I was in the 35th anniversary celebration of the day that Reverend Dr. Michael Bernard Beck was founded at Agape International Center. I was listening to Rev Deb 
talking about her beautiful sermon service of the sacred yes. Are you ready to say your sacred yes? Talking about how powerful saying a sacred yes and surrendering to the unknown. Sound familiar? And I felt her and I felt it and I was ready and I screamed it. Yes! It was first thing in the morning, on a Sunday morning nonetheless. I had complete abandon. I didn't give a shit what it meant to say my sacred yes to myself, to the universe. I didn't care. I was committed. I was all in. I didn't know it was going to happen. I barely even been going to Agape, let alone... You know, I'd watched Rewired from Dr. Joe like a year and a half before that. And the whole series, I thought, God, that must be great for those people. The worthiness. Do you know that someone that wanted the nutrition that I have, that's been to numerous, I think she said six Dr. Joe retreats. She is... um. How do I say this briefly? Uh, so unaware of being unaware of the depth of her brain damage from her diet that um, I had to uh, do two proof of life checks and turned out that it wasn't that she was dead. It was that she chose to block me. She... Um, bought $2,222 worth of food that I make homemade, froze it in my freezer and kept it for her in my freezer. And she decided that I was giving her too much information, blocked me and hasn't paid me. And I'm still trying to figure out how to pay my bills because I currently am on government funding as a student. So instead of trying to pursue that as court case or anything, because I totally am eligible, I decided that that frequency is not what I needed in my life, regardless of how much money I lost, whatever. The money is not the not the value. My worth and my serenity and being around people that treat me the way I want to be treated is more valuable than any $1,222, right? And I knew that something was going to happen because when I switched gears and cooked for 17 solid hours and fell asleep standing up cooking and she came over to get all the food that I made a whole brand new customized menu for her after she had already bought all my food because my food was too potent for her and it was making her um, go into toxemia. When she came over and she knew that I had cooked for 17 hours on a donation what came out of her mouth is, did you make my peanut dressing? I was shocked. Absolutely shocked. Yet, I'm not unaware of, you know, retreats not meaning um, healing and wholeness. It doesn't matter how many retreats somebody's gone to. Dr. Joe talks about it all the time. If you come out of a meditation as the same person you went into it, nothing changed. And so I walked around my house and it cooled down and I breathed. I was pissed as hell. Like my house was trashed because I'd cooked for 17 hours straight trying to create a whole new brand new. I didn't know what. So I could try to save her brain from diabetes 3. Yes, there is a new pandemic, diabetes 3. You guys don't know about it because the government's not talking about it. It's not Alzheimer's. Anyway. This woman clearly had early Alzheimer's. Clearly, from what that word, it's not. It's diabetes 3. Her, her brain was clearly very lacking oxygen to the point to where she couldn't even remember that she was the one taking notes, not me. She forgot the very most important food here. But let me back up. When I finally calmed down and walked her through metacognition, of everything that had happened since she walked through my door. Actually, I walked her back before that because she was very demanding about not having time to come get her food. <laughs> it was unreal. And uh, when I walked her back through everything, 
and had her pause. How did that feel? How does that feel? Where do you feel it? Take a breath. How does that feel? What happened then? This is what happened for me. This is what I saw. This is what I experienced. What do you think? She finally started crying. Tears of gratitude. And I said, what are you thinking right now? What, what thought is in your head when you feel that gratitude that you have for what I've done for a donation? Your relationship with your food leaves me speechless. And what you've done for me, I don't feel worthy of. I knew right then that no amount of food, no amount of accountability she promised me, which she never followed through with even one day of doing breath work and morning and evening volume two and calling me afterwards. That was the only thing I asked her to do. I, I have offered to coach people for a whole year for free if they would do a week of morning and evening meditation volume two and breath work every morning and journal and talk to me. Not one single person has done it. Do you realize I've spent over 80 hours on video with over 200 Dr. Joe students, all of which had been to retreats. And not one of them has been willing to do that. Not one. Not single one. Even though Dr. Joe says in the introduction that he did it every day. So, how bad do you want it? What are you willing to do? for yourself.